I was talking to my friend uh, Nick um, yesterday night from uh, British Columbia and he lost his job because of the vaccine mandate, you know, which is coming here. That's why I don't believe there's a lot of time left. But anyways, this conversation turned into, near the end we started talking about Yeshua and he brought up a really cool point. He said, well, they don't attack Yeshua. You know, and I and I was thinking in my head like Slayer doesn't think Slayer doesn't sing songs called I hate Yeshua or Yeshua or Yahuwah hates us all. You know, wouldn't the pagans know in advance like they know about September 11th and everything else and the incoming stuff and all their symbolism and all that stuff. They know about the fallen ones. So, you know, you know, we were just saying like, uh, you know, it, it's just ridiculous that people think his name is uh like uh, Yeshua, you know, like the world is going to tell you if, if the world knew Jesus Christ was his fake name, they would you would never know what his real name is. You know, who's in charge of all the knowledge that you know that's wrong? Yeah, the people that told you the earth was a spinning ball want to tell you that um, Jesus Christ is Yeshua. And uh, Paul warns us about it in the Gospels about the about the fake Jesus that's coming and it will have a form of godliness which it does it uses the Old Testament you know and it says in the Bible that you no longer have to follow the Torah because it would be too much for you to bear so I don't know what else you need to hear <laughs> Do you know what I mean it's in the Bible there's one name under heaven you know what I mean and these are the people that started the anti-rapture BS it says, you're not children of darkness, you're children of light, so you won't be overtaken like a thief in the night. And later on, he says, I come like a thief in the night. Yeah, to those that aren't aware. You know what I mean? Because you can't come like a thief in the night to us that know what's coming on, coming. And you look at the days of Noah, he put Noah was godly and his DNA was intact. That mRNA shit is final. Unless you got a placebo. I, you know, we were talking about that last night. If I was still in contact with my family, I can tell you the whole world has gotten this, you know? They know the true numbers. The numbers are probably like 66%, you know, because only 33% of us are left or whatever. Something, you know, silly because they're just goofballs when it comes to numbers. And that stuff wasn't made, that stuff wasn't made on in this realm. The ingredients for that they weren't made in this realm that came right from the god of this world just like it says on the dollar bill in god we trust all seeing eye an egyptian pyramid on american money yeah must be conspiracy theorists so anyways nick um it's always a pleasure to talk to people not no i shouldn't say it's always a pleasure because it's not always a pleasure you know what i mean to talk to people there's a new scared kitty over here somewhere but uh you know um you know, my line's always open on Messenger to talk to people that are in recovery or um, anything else or just want me to make them feel good and just pretend I'm Joel Olstein. Another thing that I've come across quite a few times, and I don't think, and I think people, some people don't mean anything by it. They're just saying it to be nice. But um, I've had quite a few people, so I don't want anybody thinking that I'm, like, singling them out. Um had a guy at the gym say this to me he's like well God wants you to be happy and it's like well I believe God does want you to be happy obviously he didn't make you to be miserable but nowhere in the Bible does it say there's that cat right there nowhere in the Bible does it say um God wants you to be happy you know God wants you to obey him and in obeying him in the Holy Spirit that's where you'll find anyways it's really cold down here in Florida you know what am I doing? Idiot. Well, now my blinker's working. I bought this in Buffalo for 20 bucks. I got this and like two other things for a jacket, but I did my cardio this morning. I rode my bike, 222 pounds. No symbolism there. I was listening to, uh, watching a Rush interview. I'm not really a huge fan of Rush, 21. 12 2 1 3 equals 3 1 2 is the inversion of 21 3 33 and all the pentagrams and bullshit and everything else and his uh luciferian lyrics and there was some other luciferian stuff i copied yesterday um focus on yourself listen um 
nowhere in the Bible does it say, hey man, just take care of you and you know, don't worry about all these losers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it says, have mercy and do unto others, you know, and be good to people and to give them your coat and uh, everything else. It doesn't say, um, you know, it says uh, to be humble and, you know, and you might be entertaining angels. And in being humble, I just look at myself right now and I say, I'm extremely good looking in all humbleness. God, you know, God me. <laughs> I said that to my... Uh, girlfriend yesterday I said no I'm you know I'm an extremely good, good looking guy I have a lot of good personality traits like I know I'm good looking I'm humble I'm arrogant you know just great characteristics that you want in a man so anyways God bless you this thing's gonna stay for now my face is chapped and all that stuff I don't know why we're talking about this but we're not anymore all right oh here's my black and white mask because it's inverted